Welcome to the weekend, everyone. It's a special edition of Weather for Weather Geeks on this Saturday morning. Wanted to do a special video because we do have snow coming our way this evening and heading into parts of the overnight. And with some of the new information, uh, I'm concerned that our, our snow forecast from last night isn't quite high enough in some spots. We're not going to make a big change or anything, but we are going to try to, try to uh, tweak things a little bit with the possibility of a little more snow, particularly north of uh, Interstate 80. I'll show you the maps in, in just a second. As I record this at about 10.05 a.m., here's what the radar and satellite look like. We've actually had some little pockets of sunshine mixed in here first thing on this Saturday morning, but those are about to go away. Any sun is now a fleeting thing as clouds increase from the south and the west. Our rain has gotten into Dayton, and it's getting into Columbus as we speak, Cincinnati as well. Actually, some pretty moderate to times heavy rain back there towards uh, Interstate 75 in uh, southwest Ohio, and then the rain does extend down into uh, parts of the Tennessee Valley into the deep south as well. The low pressure system, uh, which is getting everything cranking here, is centered just north of Atlanta, Georgia, and moisture continues to stream up the northwest side of that area of low pressure. No severe weather here today, but uh, they are concerned about possibly some severe weather in this green shade down here in the Carolinas later on this afternoon. It'll be a pretty isolated thing. But let's uh, let's focus on what's going on here. I'm going to put the radar in motion, let the radars, uh, the frames load up here. Let me take off the pressure analysis, give you a sense as to how things have uh, progressed overnight. It's been kind of a slow go to get this moisture to come northward, but here it comes. It is on its way, and I do think rain will start to, on average early this afternoon. So uh, that's what things look like now. Let's talk about uh, the rest of the day today. I'm going to bring up our latest and greatest high-resolution uh, short-range model here, the rapid refresh, we call it. And uh, let's see. Oh, we want that, and we want that. And we're going to start this with early this afternoon. Need to get more information here. Starting with about, uh, this is uh, at uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And here you can see the rain has gotten in here on average by about 1 o'clock. This might be a little fast on this model. Uh, maybe 2 o'clock on average might be a little bit of a better start time. But nonetheless, early this afternoon, sometime early this afternoon, give or take an hour or two, is when the rain will get underway. And uh, once the rain gets here, you saw that heavier rain down in southwest Ohio. You know, it's going to come down at a pretty good clip, I think, uh, for, for the uh, mid-afternoon hours. Uh, I've stopped things here at 3 p.m. Uh, good afternoon to uh, uh, catch up on your Netflix or something this afternoon because it's not going to be very nice outside. But it will be rain and not snow at this point. Let me show you the uh, precipitation type forecast here. Uh, all the green is rain. They're, they're seeing snow trying to mix in back in northwest Ohio, maybe around Sandusky and Toledo, but uh, this will be all rain for us mid-afternoon here in northeast Ohio and into western Pennsylvania. Let's focus on this evening, and uh, I'm going to skip forward here to about 6 p.m., and uh, still precipitating, as you can see, our area of low pressure centered down here across parts of uh, West Virginia, and the precipitation type here at 6 o'clock this evening, uh, we're starting to see that transition over to some snow. Uh, Cleveland, Mansfield, Sandusky, down to Columbus, so roughly the I-71 corridor. But at 7 o'clock this evening, uh, or uh, 6 o'clock this evening, 7 o'clock, we should still be all rain in most of the Mahoning Valley. Maybe as we get up into northwestern Trumbull County, you know, maybe from, say, Newton Falls on north, we're starting to see maybe a little bit of, of mixing with snowflakes. But for most of us here at 6, 7 o'clock, it's still rain. I'll fast forward to 10 p.m. then. And this is when, with the exception of uh, Columbiana County, maybe Lawrence County, a lot of us are going to be seeing some snowflakes, I think, uh, an hour or two after sunset this evening. And that's when we have our chance to see some accumulating snow uh, as we head towards uh, the evening hours. So how much snow are we talking about? I mentioned that I'm a little bit concerned that we might not be quite high enough with our amounts, and I'll show you why. I'll also show you why the forecast is a little bit tough still uh, this late in the game. This is the European model. It has an, uh, about three and a half inches in uh, in uh, Vienna, where the airport is. Now, one thing we have to note here, on these maps I'm going to show you, these snowfall amounts are based on a 10 to 1 ratio. In other words, you hear the, uh, you hear the phrase sometimes, uh, an inch of rain equals 10 inches of snow. Well, that's a good rule of thumb, but it's not always true. And with this, a very wet, gloppy uh, of snow, the ratios are going to be more like maybe 7 to 1, and what that means is that uh, you're going to get less snow out of more liquid. And so these 
amounts shown on these maps are probably high, too high by about 30%, I would say, because these maps are all based on a, <clears throat> excuse me, a 10 to 1 ratio. So while it says 3.5 here on the European and Youngstown, you subtract 30% from that and maybe it's more like 2.5, something like that. Uh, so that's one thing we have to keep in mind. Now, the Canadian has hardly anything. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. I think this is probably underdone. The Canadian isn't uh, quite beefy enough. I'm going to hit reload on this. The, the morning uh, NAM model, the North American model, is just coming in, and we're going to see what it has to say. And uh, it's backed off considerably on its snow predictions with this run. This is interesting. Uh, it, it still has a bullseye of maybe three or four back towards Mansfield, and a couple of inches go up towards the I-90 corridor, but Boy, it has less than two inches throughout pretty much the entire WFMJ viewing area. So that's a that's a change on this model compared to previous runs. So uh, that's you know kind of an interesting development. Here's the GFS model. It has 2.6 around southeastern Trumbull where the airport is located. Again, subtract 30% from that. Maybe it's more like two. Uh, here's the latest uh, SREF model, uh, short range ensemble model. Has an average where this dark line is of about 2.2 it looks like, or 2.5 I guess. Uh, that's the mean or the average, that average being pulled up some by these members up at the top that are kind of outliers. You know, you have these lines up here that say five, six inches, we don't believe that. So you kind of discount those and that, that's gonna pull the average down. So I think a more realistic average uh, on this model is probably closer to two or even a little less than that. Uh, the uh, Oh, let me take my drawing tool off here. The uh, National Weather Service uh, has their odds out for uh, more than one inch of snow here. Uh, and I, I do think that uh, these are probably a little too high, these odds. A little bit of a disagreement between me and the Weather Service on this one. Uh, they have here in Youngstown odds of, oh, it looks like uh, 60 to 80 percent, just about, of more than one inch. I think that's too high, particularly south of Interstate 80. I'm not convinced that a lot of places south of 80 get more than an inch. It might be close uh, once you're close to Girard, maybe, and, and Sharon and Hermitage and places like that, but these numbers look a little high to me. Uh, I'm going to skip past these and kind of get to the point here so I don't ramble on forever. Here's our snow forecast from last night. What I'm probably going to do with this is move the 1 to 3 area, which is this kind of light blue, to more like, oh, something like, this. So more of Trumbull County, more of Mercer County, get into the one to three, maybe even northwestern Mahoning County, uh, maybe Austin Town, uh, you know, close call there, but you know, more places like like a Howland and Cortland and, and Vienna and uh, uh, maybe Hermitage and Sharon, closer to the one to three area as opposed to coding to an inch. I, I'm, I'm concerned that more of, of Trumbull and Mercer end up with maybe two slushy inches, two and a half, something like that. And maybe the three to six area that we have up here towards Cleveland might come a little farther south and might, might just try to clip the extreme northern part of, of Trumbull. I, I doubt anyone gets six up there, but someone up there might get three and a half, something like that. So those are little tweaks that we might make. Bottom line to take away from this special Saturday morning video, Maybe a little more snow than we thought last night, but not by much, and it's only for the northern part of our viewing area. If you live in Canfield and Boardman and, and Newcastle, Lisbon, Salem, all of these places, I, you know, I, I still think that an inch is going to be kind of the top end of your of your range of possibilities. Uh, with a lot of places down in Columbiana County, coding at best, probably. All right, so thanks for watching this video. Uh, if uh, I need to make any more changes to the forecast, I uh, will post those on Facebook, on Twitter. You can find me at Eric WFMJ on Twitter. And uh, thanks for watching once again. I'll, I'll see you uh, Monday, hopefully. And Mike Joyce will keep you updated this evening on 21 News at 6 and 11.